Also this morning, the man accused of attacking the husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi will be officially charged today. Police say David DePape broke into their San Francisco home and violently attacked Paul Pelosi early Friday morning. Police arrested DePape and recommended a number of charges, including attempted murder, elder abuse, and burglary. Police say DePape got inside, then he went upstairs where he confronted Paul Pelosi. For the very latest on the investigation, journalist Rich McHugh is joining us this morning. So Rich, what more do we know about the suspect this morning and exactly what happened? Hey, good morning, morning. I'm here in front of the Pelosi home where the attack happened on Friday morning. Security is basically everywhere around me. Uh, there is a joint investigation right now between the FBI, the Capitol Police, and the San Francisco Police. There are a lot of questions swirling about the timeline and about the alleged attacker. And here's what we know now about the investigation and that attacker. Investigators are searching for clues as to why David DePappy broke into the home of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and attacked her husband. We also know, based on our investigation at this point, that this was not a random act. This was intentional. And it's wrong. DePappy was arrested and faces charges of attempted murder, elder abuse, and burglary. He entered the Pelosi home and went upstairs, News Nation has confirmed. Speaker Pelosi was not at the house on Friday, but later said that DePappy was there to, quote, confront me. 82 year old Paul Pelosi dialed 911 and alerted police of the intruder, speaking in code to the dispatcher, Heather Graves Rhymes. Dispatch kind of took it from there and read between the lines. So uh, she felt that there was something more to it. But again, dispatchers have to report what they're being told. But thankfully, experience and intuition, you know, sometimes we, we, when you're in this business long enough, you kind of get a sense for things. And, and her intuition was on point. When police arrived, the two men were locked in a heated back and forth, struggling with a hammer. Her actions, in my opinion, resulted in both a higher priority dispatch and a faster police response. I think this was life saving. Police ordered both men to drop the hammer. Mr. DePappi immediately pulled the hammer away from Mr. Pelosi and violently attacked him with the hammer. The officers immediately entered, tackled the suspect, disarmed him took the hammer away from him and took the suspect, uh, Mr. DePappi, into custody. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi released a statement on Saturday thanking everyone for their support and the officer's fast action in helping her husband. Quote, we are grateful for the quick response of law enforcement and emergency services and for the life-saving medical care he is receiving. Pelosi's son, Paul Pelosi, was seen leaving Zuckerberg Hospital where his father is being treated. Paul Pelosi is recovering from surgery after his skull was fractured and his right arm and hands were seriously injured. Now the district attorney here will file charges today against DePapi. Uh, he'll be arraigned tomorrow. The police have not yet said what, their, what they think his motive is. More of a picture is coming out about this guy, DePapi. I want to quote one of his neighbors who called him a left-wing, left-leaning nudist drug abuser. Um, he's also a pro-nudity activist living in Berkeley, which is not too far from here. But I'm hopeful that at this press conference coming up today with the district attorney, we'll hear more. Yeah, that's what a lot of people are wondering, Rich, is his background. Has he been involved criminally in another case, any other previous attacks? Um, the other thing that people are asking about is the security for the speaker, what the security was like for her husband. Uh, what are you hearing about security, and will that be stepped up after an attack like this? Well, it certainly has been stepped up. There's like, you know, 25 different police cars around here in security. Um, I think it's obviously going to be a, a subject for conversation whether uh, security extends to, to, to family members of congresswomen. Um, and so that's, you know, th that's where this is all heading. There are some questions that are unanswered, you know, that I think that if they release the security footage from around the home would probably go a long way to, to answer those questions, why they haven't. Um, kind of remains to be seen, Marnie. Yeah, no chilling to see just how, in fact, he was able to get into their home. All right, Rich McHugh, investigative journalist here at News Nation. Uh, Rich, thank you for that report this morning. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.